hi friends uh, this is tkd don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so today we are talk, going to start the trailhead uh, called secure like event monitoring so basically this comes as a part of uh, salesforce shield plugin if you are uh, org has it uh, uh, which i'm sure which it will have it but uh, in, in your companies uh, you know, if you have a salesforce shield this cool feature will be enabled in your org so basically what it does is basically if you have an application wherein you have a logins logouts uh, uh, web clicks or any custom made uh, lightning components or um, uh, reports uh, so what you so what it does is basically you can you can create a event monitoring uh, uh, as a result of this so all you need to do is basically you need to define the events in the event monitoring and then uh, then at least you have to provide at least three use cases for event monitoring and this being an api first approach so basically what it does is as you as we know so the dashboards which you get from this event log files are like <clears throat> like these are uh, basically the login activity suppose uh, you have a uh, you have, suppose you have a sales rep who has joined uh, to your competitor and uh, all, all of a sudden you see that um, there all of a sudden you see that the, their leads are uh, falling down so you can get a report of uh, like uh, uh, what what reports that particular uh, employee has downloaded before leaving the company and joining to your uh, rival competitor so and uh, it it uh, like uh, like uh, so it's for example like that uh, that employee adam uh, adam has logged in 103 times before joining the, before leaving the company which looks like this which looks something fishy so you can take this data into like how many distinct ip addresses uh, he that user was logged in and uh, so on and so forth so so you can you can you can very well imagine the power of event monitoring and why uh, it makes sense to use this uh, 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 use this tool into your all and uh, so you can also optimize the performance of your uh, uh, of your application suppose you, the visual force page or the light, lightning app which you have developed uh, is really slow in performing so like suppose uh, the example you given here is like you have an office in SFO and, and one in London the users in London uh, mentions that their reports are running slowly or sometimes even timing out so event monitoring uh, becomes really helpful to determine whether the cause is related to a uh, internet issue in the london or uh, or is there something else like the way the app has been com configured so so as you all know that salesforce uh, for salesforce like uh, of we have objects like standard objects like accounts or cases all these are these all these objects are apis so um, and all these fields for example account name fields all so these are also uh, like they, they, that also acts like a name field api so sometimes the user interface doesn't provide you like uh, every possible access point of about your data so in that case uh, in that case uh, if you have this api is defined so that this is called api first approach in development so basically whenever you develop an application uh, you want to pay attention to the underlying api so uh, so that's pretty much it let's go go ahead and see if we can if we can secure those hundred points into our uh, into the trailhead and uh, let's see we'll, we'll take this up as a challenge so coming to this like what first question is what event type corresponds to a user tapping an account record in the salesforce mobile app uh, we, and we know that it's it has to be a uri uh, a user in your organization opens a visual force page where is this event stored this is stored in an event file and the next question is like event monitoring can be used in which of the following scenarios determining determining why certain pages are loading slowly or timing out like monitoring which ip addresses users are logging in from or identifying slow performance on visual force pages so uh, it looks like it's all of the above and uh, you are developing a new application for your organization 
according to sales was best practices what you should consider first we should consider the underlying api uh, we, we just read about it let's see if we are able to earn some points here so it has to be lightning which what even type corresponds to user tapping so let's see yeah so it has to be so we got the 100 points sorry friends um, I made one, one wrong one wrong choice so that's it you can get your 100 points first by looking at my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel feel free to drop your comments feedback for this thank you have a good day stay safe